Yeah, so it's Tuesday. Um, the day after last night's Monday Night Raw. Anybody that watched Monday Night Raw last night saw Brock Lesnar on there. They also saw the show open up with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And they also saw Ric Flair in, and as well the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels out in the ring. Uh, it was a, a very good moment for me. Uh, interrupted by Seth Rollins. I thought that was a pretty good segment in my eyes. Overall, the show was was okay. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, I can't bash the show, uh, but I would have liked to seen them more promote Hell in the Cell. They did a couple matches, like The Undertaker and Lesnar with their confrontation. Um, and, of course, uh, the New Day going up against the Dudleys and John Cena. And, obviously, John Cena is going to be at Hell in the Cell uh, in an Open Challenge U.S. title match where... You know, it leaves us hanging who it's going to be. Obviously, I think in my eyes it's going to be Dolph Ziggler. I don't know who else it could be, really. But anyway, uh, as far as the show goes, um, you know, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So, um, you know, it, you know, is what it is, like I always say. Now, to get to the Stone Cold and Lesnar podcast after uh, WWE Raw went off the air and on the WWE Network, um... I have to honestly believe, uh, since this podcast being on the WWE Network, that Stone Cold's hands are a bit sort of tied on the questions he could ask Lesnar. Uh, I, I think for the most part, this whole podcast was like, meh, average. Um, a, a lot of it, you know, some of the, some of the questions and, 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 and talk was a little boring to me. I could care less what Brock Lesnar drives. I could care less what Brock Lesnar drinks. Um, I was interested hearing about um, him growing up on a dairy farm in Minnesota. Um, there was a couple things that he, he said that caught my eye, and it goes to show you of the arrogance of, of Lesnar. Um, uh, basically, you know, when, when um, Austin asked him about, um, you know, uh, interacting with anybody in the locker room, and he basically said no, uh, he said there's only... A, a small amount of people that he knew when he came back, uh, that he knew uh, when he had left, and uh, and basically he was saying, um, you know, he it's like punching a time card, a time clock. You know, I punch in, do my job, I punch out. That's all I need to do. I don't need to associate with anybody else. I don't need to do anything else with anybody else, and. It sort of leads you to believe that he truly believes that he is above the rest on the WWE roster. And, you know, honestly, uh, can you fault him for feeling that way, uh, for the way that Vince McMahon has catered to him and has signed him to such a lucrative contract? And he goes on to say that, you know, you know, there he was asked about Dana White and Vince McMahon. He didn't really give a, a clear-cut answer. But basically, he said they both put a lot of money in his bank account. And uh, I guess when you grow up with no money and uh, you have that opportunity to make huge amounts of money, you're going to do whatever it takes to to do that. So honestly, um, you can't fault him for that. Uh, but you do see the arrogance. Uh, Austin asked him a question about schooling and whatnot, and I thought it was a really sort of stupid question in my eyes about if he ever got picked on and of course you know you saw that smirk by Lesnar you know no no I never got I never got picked on I was the one who was picking on people you know obviously um he was probably bigger than most going up uh growing up through grade school and high school and whatever um and uh he says he doesn't try to be intimidating but he is intimidating, uh, again, gloating there. Um, so, you know, the, the, the podcast really didn't delve into anything um, that was really on the edge, if you know what I mean. And it seems like every time that Stone Cold is doing a podcast on the WWE Network, his hands are pretty much tied. Uh, they did talk about uh, the WrestleMania where... Um, uh, oh, excuse me, not the WrestleMania, but the match that um, Stone Cold walked out and would not uh, wrestle 
Brock Lesnar, and uh, Brock Lesnar proceeded to say that he wasn't offended by the fact. Um, Stone Cold just thought it should have been saved for a big pay-per-view like WrestleMania. Um, and, of course, Lesnar agreed. Um, so, all in all, it, 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 the podcast was, like, average. It wasn't nothing special. Um, you know, you learned a little bit more about Brock Lesnar's history, you know, sort of growing up on a dairy farm, um, talked about his college days, talked about when he tried out for uh, the NFL, and... Um, you know, and then going through UFC and then having the um, the intestinal problem, which uh, he said that uh, basically, um, you know, he was up in Canada and a doctor basically saved his life. And, um, you know, it was either his life or his career. So that was some interesting stuff. But, you know, uh, he also talked a little bit about Paul Heyman and... And, um, you know, Lesnar did say something that is probably one of the, the truest things of the night. He said, why do I have to speak when I got Paul Heyman to speak for me? And he's one of the best speakers, you know, um, one of the best shooters out there to do segments. He goes, all I have to do is stand there and look intimidating. And is, you know, what he does. And um, obviously, um, uh, the WWE thinks very, very highly of him. Um, I have other opinions, um, but, um, you know, we all have our own opinions on Lesnar, and um, those are mine. And, again, so if you haven't seen the podcast, um, you can check it out. Um, but, believe me, you're not missing, really, on anything, anything significant whatsoever at all. Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions here on this Tuesday. The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this channel, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Check me out on the Iceman B2013 YouTube channel and also on Facebook at the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme Facebook page as well as Jeffrey Rose on Facebook. Peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Tuesday.